Hey there, baseball fans. It's Kelly Clark with Willow House, and I want to talk to you for a few minutes about who we should call when we're in a booking challenge. And that's what we're doing right now with the Home Run Derby. But it's appropriate really for any time we have a booking challenge out there or any time you feel like your business needs a little boost. Maybe those bookings and coffee conversations haven't been coming as regularly as you would like and you want to make sure you're covering all your bases. So let's talk about different kinds of consultants and stages in your business where you might be. We'll start with brand new consultants. First of all, if you're brand new to us, welcome. We are so glad you're here and you are going to be in for just a wonderful, joyful ride, and we are blessed to have you along with us. But when you are just brand new getting started, you might not have a lot of people you think that you can call. Um, you don't have past customers and past hostesses yet because you haven't really done parties much yet. Um, but there are still so many people that you can call, and here is two. here are two kind of ways to think about it that might help jog your mind and, and discover people that you can reach out to with this business. In the next video that I'm going to share with you, we will talk about what to say. So for now, let's just concentrate on who we're going to call. You've probably heard the idea of a list of 100, and that is really just a list of everybody you know. And it should really be a living, breathing document that you take with you throughout your entire career with Willow House and that you update and keep fresh regularly as new people come into your life. It's their name and contact information, a place to make notes, and it should be, um, as I said, something that evolves over time. You're never really done with your list of 100. But if that idea about, oh, just 100 names sounds a bit overwhelming, there's another little acronym that can help you break it down. And this is a good, um, quick kind of spur, a spark, if you will, um, for any time in your business. And it's the um, acronym FRANK. We love FRANK. <laughs> FRANK stands for friends, relatives, acquaintances through work or other activities, neighbors, current neighbors and past neighbors, and kids' friends, moms, people you know through your kids and your kids' activities. Now let's talk about friends. This is probably a season where you have lots of new friends coming into your life for a variety of reasons. But if you think about it, at each and every stage, um, new people are always coming into your life. So definitely think about those core people that you've known forever. Think about the people that you would just love to have an excuse to get in touch with again. And then think about those people who are brand new. Maybe as the kids go back to school, you've got new parents that you'll be meeting through your kids' classes. Um, perhaps your kids have gone off to college and you connected with their roommate's mom um, during orientation. Or maybe you've gone to a new church and there are new people there. All these um, opportunities where you have friends and new friends coming into your life, that those people belong on your list of 100. Those are people that you can absolutely share this business with and talk to them about having a party and who they know who might be interested in having a party. Relatives, absolutely, you're going to want to call your relatives. You know, even your crazy old aunt, you want to call her too. I have one. I love her. I'm allowed to say that. Um, your family, um, your acquaintances through work, either current job or former jobs or other activities that you do, your neighbors, as I said, past and present, and then people from your kids' activities, be it after school activities, school, church, etc. So that's going to give you a nice breadth of people to reach out to and for you to fill up that list of 100. I also want you to think about people from whom you purchase things or um, use their services. Perhaps you've been going to the same nail salon forever or your hairdresser, um, your postal carrier, your dry cleaner, your favorite restaurant in town, um, places that you frequent that you give your business to. Those are great people for you to share your business with. Um, they're going to be delighted to help to kind of reciprocate. Um, and if they're not, you might find a new nail salon. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. But it's a great way to kind of reach out into the community to think about those people that you do business with. Chances are they'd be delighted to do business with you. Okay? So that's if you're a brand new consultant, kind of start thinking about who you can reach out to. If you're a more seasoned consultant, you've been around for a while, or maybe it's been some time since you've done your business, a couple key places for you to look. Certainly your past parties, pull out those party folders um, and the order forms have contact information on them. If you've got customer care cards, definitely pull those out. And you also want to pull out 
um, your warm lead report that you get from the insider. Now the insider is our company created newsletter, e-newsletter that goes out once a month and in the week after it is delivered you get reports back that show who has clicked on what in your newsletter. And this is such a great shortcut to really find out who's interested in your business and your opportunities that you have to offer. So you'll know if someone has clicked on the host opportunity or the um, business opportunity or recipes or decorating tips. You'll know all that and it can really help you prioritize who to call. Now I'm not saying those are the only people that you can call, but those are the people you probably want to call first. Here's one little tip on calling them. You don't want to say, oh, I see you clicked on the recipe for chicken tetrazzini, because that would be a little scary. You might seem like a stalker, and we don't want that. But it's just um, very timely if they have looked a little bit further in your newsletter and they hear from you, um, you can ask them questions. Did you get my newsletter? What did you think about it? Um, what did you like most about it? Those kind of things just as a way to get started. But again, more on that to come. If your business is cooking with gas and you feel like you have all the parties you can handle, hallelujah, that's fantastic. What I want you to think about is who do you know um, in your customer base and in your host database, all the people that are booking parties with you, who do you know that would really be perfect for this business? Think about those hosts that did a great job. Think about those customers that come time and time again and are the life of the party. Really, really hone in because if you've got lots of parties, wouldn't it be nice to share some of them with a new teammate? So think in those terms. If you feel like, yikes, my calendar is full, I'm all the way booked as far as the eye can see, there's still an opportunity for you to participate um, with our Home Run Derby and for you to make use of this dedicated time of calling. Okay, so hopefully those are some good ideas about who to call and stay tuned for the next video when we're going to talk about what to call and specifically how to do an out-of-the-box call. Thanks a lot. Batter up.